Hello friends and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk about EGA. First we will discuss what is EGA is. EGA is actually exhaust gas ignition system. As the name implies, it is a part of the system for igniting the burnt gases. So the first question is why do we need them and what is the purpose? The main answer for this question is in addition to performance of the machine, people and the economy is concerned about the emission as well. So EGA is used for reducing the emission of a vehicle. If you are aware of vehicular emissions, you must be familiar with the term catalytic converter. It is an after treatment device for converting the harmful pollutant to harmless or less harmful substances. The job is assigned to some expensive catalysts that are spread all over the walls of the catalytic converter. Generally, catalysts on ceramic monoliths do not become reasonably effective until they have attained a temperature of approximately 350 degrees Celsius and are not fully so until a temperature of 450 degrees Celsius is attained. On average, two-thirds of all car journeys undertaken are less than 5 miles in length. Indeed, on a short journey, as much as 80% of the total emission after starting with a cold engine are produced during the first two minutes. And the situation is even worse in cold climates and in urban conditions. Ford have used this technique to obtain catalyst light off consistently in a few seconds by briefly burning a measured mixture of fuel and air in an afterburner just upstream of the catalyst. They have termed their system exhaust gas ignition as they, it is invented by Ford Automotive. Now we will learn how they actually work. There are mainly three actions are taken by the electronic control unit for completing the process. For burning the exhaust gas, we must need an unburned fuel in the exhaust, which means it must run in a rich air fuel ratio. Secondly, for a rich mixture, the availability of air will be less, consequently reducing the chances for a combustion to occur. For doing this, we must provide additional air to the exhaust gas for burning it and is supplied through an air pump in the exhaust side which is connected externally. For igniting the mixture, an additional spark plug is situated in the afterburner and it will fire continuously for igniting the exhaust gas. Exhaust of a rich mixture contains unburned hydrocarbon, carbon monoxide and free hydrogen as well. The high inflammability of hydrogen gas helps to carry out the combustion process more easily and continuously. So hydrogen is present in the exhaust because of the alternative reaction between water and carbon monoxide. So you must be thinking that is there any alternative solution other than the exhaust gas ignition system? Yeah, there is. One is the electric heating device and the second one is placing the carrel converter near the end of the engine exhaust side or near the exhaust manifold. But doing this there will be some difficulties because we know that the catalyst used in this carrel converter is very expensive and they will get burn off and damage at high engine revs and high engine loads because of the high temperature of the exhaust gases so placing this near the exhaust side is not that much affordable compared to the exhaust gas ignition system and the second one if you prefer the electric heating uh, it is more simple device but we need a high current for uh, preheating the uh, preheating the charge before the Cal converter so we might need a current of around 500 ampere and we must produce this from a 12 volt battery so the circuit and this device will be more uh, more cumbersome and more costly compared to the exhaust gas ignition system this is why we are preferring the EGA system uh, compared to all these two so uh, the EGA system will be more familiar and more simple and it will it is more easy to maintain so this is the reason why we are preferring the EGA system this is the diagram of an exhaust gas ignition system here you can see the engine and the inlet to the engine and here this figure shows a multi-point fuel injection system and you can see the fresh air that is entering into the engine and you can see the fuel that is injecting in the intake side and you can see an additional electric air pump is connected to the exhaust side of the engine and this will supply the excess air that is need for burning the burned gases that is pulled out from the engine through the exhaust stroke 
and this fresh air will be mixed with the burned gases and it will mix with the unburned fuel and hydrogen as well so they will provide a mixture and they will arrive near the catalytic converter where which is the after burner and this after burner contains a spark plug as you can see here and this spark plug will continuously firing to initiate the combustion process a small combustion process in the exhaust side for providing or preheating the cal converter or for lighting off or light off the cal converter for achieving the optimum temperature for proper functioning of the catalyst that is used in the cal converter so if you learn how the exhaust gas ignition system works please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to get updated in the automotive industry and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when i make a new upload thank you for watching have a nice day and bye